Hey there guys, today I have another book review for you. It is The Twilight Prisoner by Katherine Marsh. I recently reviewed the first of these books, The Night Tourist, so if you haven't seen that, link here. I also don't suggest that you watch this review until you've read The Night Taurus because there are some slight spoilers. This book follows up a few months after The Night Taurus ends. Jack is at his new school and he's making a decent amount of friends, but he's not entirely lost everything he learned or earned. Jack still sees ghosts every now and then, but he kind of lets it go. Then one day, he's trying to impress Cora, a girl from his Latin class. He takes Cora and his rival down to see an oddity at Columbia and in fact brings them into the underworld. This time there may not be a way back. Prisoner. All of my initial opinions are yes, 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 I love this book, I love this trilogy, a ba da ba da a -la -la -la. The characters in this book are phenomenal, just like in Night Taurus. Jack is still great. Yuri is still wonderful. I also love Cora. She's a very interesting character, and I love to see how she interacts with the underworld. She didn't have the chance to choose. She didn't have an option of any kind. She was pulled into the underworld, so it's really interesting to see how she handles it. As far as the style, it's pretty much the same as the last, and I really have no arguments against it. I like it. No, no critiques. So for the plot, I really enjoyed it, obviously. It follows up The Night Tourist really, really well. It doesn't have that slump that a lot of sequels do. Jack gets on my nerves a little bit at the beginning, but once he's back in the underworld, it's back to Jack I love. Yuri is just phenomenal. I think that she's written very realistically, I guess, for a ghost. Cora is extremely realistic for someone who didn't have a choice in going to the underworld or know at all what was going on. You do get to see another side of the underworld and meet some really interesting ghosts this time around, and I just... I just love it. I love to see Jack, not as the outsider, not as the new kid, but as the tour guide. He's showing Cora around a lot while trying to get them out of the underworld before the three-day mark. So this is just a really interesting book and really, really good. And if you've read The Night Tourist, which I'm assuming you have if you're watching this review, if not, then you should go read it. Then you'll love this book. And this is a really short review because I really don't have anything else to say about this book except that it's phenomenal and I really adore it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend these two books and the third one whenever Miss Marsh gets around to writing it because I have read that there is supposed to be a third one eventually when she has time. So... Miss Marsh, make the third book, please. If you've liked this review, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see some of my other videos, check out my channel. Maybe subscribe if you want to be up to date. If you have anything about to say about this book or if you've read it and you want to discuss anything, we'll do that in the comments. If it's a spoilerish question, please mark it as spoiler. Other than that, I just hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye.